Uh, for mirroring purposes, so you can match me, I'm going to go this way, which should be your left. The simplest way to not quite do the CZQ, but not totally stop, is to tr just cross one leg in front of the other and step to the side. Uh, this is going to be your right foot. It goes in front, not too far in front, but just right in front of the other foot. And then you step to the side, each foot staying pointed forward for now. Each leg has a slightly different layer. Well, let's do the layer of the front leg first. So forgetting about doing anything cool with this back leg, your right leg, uh, like when we did the apple jacks, so you're going to kind of put the weight on your heel. And without lifting your foot up too much, you're going to do a movement where you start pointing your foot inside, and then you move it out. And this is a movement of the whole leg, right? So I'm getting a nice deep knee bend. And obviously we do this when we're taking a step. Uh, as I mentioned last week in the Apple Jacks video, there's a difference between an outward rotation and an inward rotation. And we are using the outward rotation for this. So what I would like you to try is stepping at the same time as doing an outward rotation. So your weight on the front foot is on the heel. Step. And it's just a sideways step. Step. So I want to keep going with this because this is what the right leg is going to do all the time you're doing the Suzy Q. Step. Cross. Step, cross, step, cross, step. So we're going to take that layer off the front leg, give it a rest, and we're going to put a layer on the back leg. So the back leg does something slightly different but very complementary to what uh, the front leg is doing. Instead of being on the heel, you're going to be on the toe. Just practice being on the toe of your foot or the ball of your foot, taking your whole leg, moving it outward, moving it inward. This way is out, this way is in. Now you're going to step when you do this, and when you push sideways, you're going to rotate out. And then as you cross the other leg in front, it's not doing anything, it's just crossing in front, leave it alone, don't try to add the other layer back on it rotates in. Now how far does it rotate in? Because I could go like this, but that would look extremely awkward. It doesn't go that far. It's most important that you get the outward rotation, this nice line here, looking super pretty. In. Then you step to the side, it goes out. Then it goes in. Step to the side, it goes out. Then it goes in. Okay, so now we need to somehow stitch it together and make it look pretty. So we have to go somewhat sequentially so on one, we're stepping across on the weight, the weight's on our heel, right foot, and we step out. We make a nice shape here, right? Nice deep knee bend. If your quads need a little extra strengthening, that's something to keep in mind. This leg points in, front leg goes out, in, out, in, out. Uh, Suzy Q's 8K 